Welcome back to Excel 2010 for Beginners, brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. This is Lesson 3 of 12. If you landed on this lesson first, you can click on the link in the video window above to start back at the beginning. In Lesson 3, you'll learn about the Quick Access Toolbar, the Status Bar, the Zoom Control, and the Scroll Bars. In the upper left corner of the Excel window, you'll find the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar is designed to give you a place to put buttons and commands that you use on a regular basis. When you first install Excel, all you'll find on the Quick Access Toolbar is Save, Undo, and Redo. And we'll learn about these commands in a few minutes. If you have commands that you use a lot, you can add them to the Quick Access Toolbar to make them always accessible regardless of what tab you happen to be on. For example, let's say you always use bold. You can add bold to the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking on it and selecting Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now you can see that bold is right up here on the Quick Access Toolbar and I can access it no matter what tab I happen to be on. There's bold. We'll learn a lot more about customizing the Quick Access Toolbar and the Ribbon in our more advanced classes. For now, I'm going to remove it by right-clicking and selecting Remove from Quick Access Toolbar. You can see how easy that is. On the bottom of the Excel window, you'll find the Status Bar. The Status Bar is used to give you information about the current status of Microsoft Excel. For example, right now you can see the status bar says ready. That's because it's ready for me to input some data. If I'm typing information in, you can see it changes to enter because I'm currently in data entry mode. If you select a block of numbers, you'll see some interesting information about those numbers on the status bar. For example, down here, you can see the average, the count, and the sum of the numbers that I just selected. You can even customize the information that appears on the status bar, and we'll learn how to do that in one of our more advanced classes. Next to the status bar, you'll find different Views buttons. These buttons let you switch between Normal, Page Layout, and Page Break Preview Views. We'll talk about these in a lot more detail later. You're going to spend most of your time in the default, which is Normal View, but you can use Page Layout to add headers and footers and see how your spreadsheet's going to look when it's printed. And Page Break Preview will show you where the page breaks are so you can see what information is going to fall on page 2 or page 3. In the bottom right corner of the Excel window, you'll find the different zoom controls. You can use the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or zoom out to get closer or further away from the spreadsheet data. You're not changing the way the data is going to look on the printed page. You're just zooming in or zooming out so that you can see more or less information on the screen. You can also grab this little slider button here, click and drag it to zoom in or out. 100% is the default. You can also click on this 100% number here, and a dialog box opens with some more options. You can go right to 200%, 75%, 25%, or type in a custom number. I'll just click Cancel. We'll talk a lot more about the zoom controls in a future lesson. And yes, I realize I say that a lot, that we'll learn about more topics in future lessons, but remember, Today is just the overview class. We're just going to give you a broad overview of what Excel can do, and we'll drill down and get more specific in future lessons. As I always say, you have to learn how to walk before you can run. I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information at once. Along the right side and the bottom of the spreadsheet area, you'll find two scroll bars. There's a horizontal scroll bar and a vertical scroll bar. You can use the scroll bars to move down 
or up, or a left and right, inside your spreadsheet. You can either click on the arrowheads or click and drag this box in the center of the scroll bar. If you think of the scroll bar as a little elevator, you can click on the arrowheads to go up or down one floor at a time, or click on the elevator itself and drag it to go to any floor. This is the end of lesson three. You can click on the link above in the video window to jump to lesson four. Also, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when I release new free tutorials. For more information on my Excel courses, visit my website at 599cd.com slash xyt2010.